Hello, hello, hello. I am live. This is The Wealthy Guy. Today I'm going to be talking about winter coat styles. So I have something very special planned for you guys today because I'm going to show you not only the coat, but what I would pair it with. So I love winter coats. I don't necessarily love winter, but winter coats are awesome. Um, and there's so many different styles and I picked a few that are my favorites and paired them with some looks that I would wear uh, to share with you guys today. So let's see who's on, let's see who's on. All right, so I have my Instagram going as well as the Facebook Live. Hey, Asuko. Hey, Keon. Didaro, Joe, Cynthia, Drew, Albert, Billy, Anton, Blackman, Beard. What's going on? Hey, Martin, always dressed up. Raging Billy. What's going on, everybody? Okay, so I have about eight looks to, to cover. So eight different coat styles, uh, including the one that I posted today. So my look today with the Glenn Plaid suit and the Glenn Plaid coat. I'm going to show you that look um, and talk a little bit about uh, why that coat is one of my favorites and um, as well as why some of the other ones are my favorites as well. All right. Lots of people, lots of people. Good, good, good. All right, Carson. So I normally go live on Tuesday, but on Tuesday, I was presenting to a group called Diverse Influencers about how to effectively use uh, LinkedIn. Uh, so that's why I didn't go live Tuesday. And then yesterday, I just needed a self-care day uh, just to get all of my thoughts together and, and get prepared for today. So let's get right into it with the first look. So the looks today that I'm going to be showing are uh, from casual all the way up to dressed up. So something if you don't work in the office, um, something if you do work in the office, something for the weekend. So pretty much something for, for, for everybody. All right. So my first look today is and a lot of the looks are what I call classic coats, all right? So this is what's called a duffel or a toggle coat. This particular one I actually got in Hong Kong, um, and I love it, and it never goes out of style. A car coat or a duffel coat will never go out of style. Has that good, good burberry inside. Uh, so with this particular coat, um, it's great for winter. It has a hood, although this hood is, I think, more for um, show versus functionality because the way that it lays on your head is 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 pretty weird. So I paired this this duffel coat with a sweatshirt and a pair of blue jeans. All right, so very casual look. The coat can it looks great dressed up or dressed down um i really love this coat uh it's it's been a winter staple of mine duffel coats in or toggle coats in general are a classic men's style it, it, this this particular type of coat will never go out of style um so again got the burberry duffel coat and i actually did get this on sale you know i never pay full price this is a very expensive coat um so paired with this sweatshirt and a pair of blue jeans so i'm gonna check the the comments from time to time to see if there's questions but for the most part i'm gonna like try to go through what the um the looks that i have planned for you are okay so second look also, very casual look is, and this is another coat that I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love. This Ralph Lauren polo down coat. Um, it has this military style. It has all of these pockets on it. Um, I really, really love it. I always get compliments on this coat. And with this coat, I've paired it with this sweater 
that actually has blue sleeves as well as, so I was going for a whole almost like military green um, type of look with these green, really distressed denim jeans that I got from Diesel. Um, this look, again, great uh, casual look. This coat, this type of coat will keep you very, very, very warm. A lot of times you see this type of coat with uh, a fur hood. This particular one doesn't have a fur, a fur hood, um, but you see this style of coat a lot with a fur hood. So again, matched with this green sweater um, and these diesel jeans. The sweater is from uh, J. Crew. Uh, a lot of my clothes are from J. Crew. I love J. Crew. I love J. Crew on sale, especially. All right, so that is the second look. So let me say hi to some, hey, April, Courtney, Tito, Curtis, Eliza, Kevin, Jesse, E-Love, Q and Kamara, Carlton, and Keith. All right, okay, so the next look is, again, another one that is more casual. I love this. I love a black motorcycle jacket. Black motorcycle jackets look great dressed up as well as dressed down. Now, when I say dressed up, I don't mean with a, a suit jacket, right? Because the suit jacket is going to be too long for um, the coat. But with a pair of trousers, a button down shirt, a sweater, you know, a pair of shoes, it, it's gonna it's gonna look great. Um, so the next look is with this black sheepskin leather motorcycle jacket, and I wanted to keep it still very very like urban and cool. So I paired it with this Sandro camouflage blue and gray and black sweatshirt and a pair of rag and bone uh, black jeans. The jacket is also rag and bone. And what's really cool about this jacket is that it has this lumberjack lining in it. Um, so very, very, the jacket is very heavy and it's very warm for, uh, for the winter months. So you, again, right, you can pair it with a sweater. Um, you can pair it with a sweatshirt put a scarf on it in your beanie and you are good to go. So the last time I got some feedback from my cousin on the, um, on the Instagram live saying that I need to turn the camera. So I actually have two um, devices going. I have my laptop going for the Facebook live. And then I also have my phone going for the Instagram live. And my cousin was telling me that she couldn't really see the looks and I needed to move over, but gonna make sure I show my Instagram people some love um, today and make sure that they can see the full looks. Now, one thing that I underestimated about showing these looks is holding up these heavy clothes <laughs> with one arm and my arm is like, it, it's tired right now. So actually what I'm gonna do is stop for a second take a look, see who's on, see if anybody's asking questions or if you guys are just following along with me. Let's see, I see a lot of fire, I see a lot of fire. Good, good, good. Hey Marvin, Daniel, John John, Sir Don, D'Angelo, Scott. All right, now, for the next look. Next look, so now we're gonna get into more uh, dressed up looks. So the next look that I have is one that you could wear to work or you can wear out um, for a night on the town if you're going on a date or whatever it is and you wanna dress up. Um, it is this look here. I love a belted coat. Right, but it has to be the right belted coat. So initially I thought about showing 
a trench coat, but trench coats aren't, in my opinion, uh, for the most part, warm enough, even with, a, you know, with a wool suit on for the winter. But this coat here, which is, is, is a little longer than the actual suit, is a belted coat, and it's actually really beautiful. The way that it closes up, it's really, really chic, really, really modern feel. Um, the, again, you can wear it with a suit. So I paired it with my blue suit, um, blue shirt, and purple tie. The coat is from Reese London, and I got this coat but 90% off, uh, which is amazing because the coat, I want to say, was $900. So if you do the math, 90% uh, off of $900 is a damn good deal. Um, paired with my J. Crew suit, um, my black Saks Fifth Avenue shirt. And I know when I say Saks Fifth Avenue, you're probably like, whoo, that's expensive, fancy, but no. When I bought a lot of uh, Saks Fifth Avenue shirts online, as well as in off Saks, I got like, I want to say like, at the time it was like three, four hundred dollars, which is, is, is amazing. Um, but again, belted, when it closes up, it's super, super, super chic, really, really chic coat. Um, and with the belt, it just really adds that extra, mm, like, who is he? Where is he going? I want to go where he's going, you know? Uh, so I, I love that coat, and I only actually pull it out a, a few times a year. Now, let's see. Let's see. It's like 15 comments. All right, let's see if anybody has a question. I'm on the hunt for, yes, good, 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 good. Thanks for the tips. I'm on the hunt for a new winter coat. L, hey L, miss you too. A heavy trench coat, right. Not, not a light one. So in, I wanna say maybe, I don't, even, I don't know how many posts ago, but I showed the trench coat that I wear when it's raining and that coat would definitely not be um, warm enough to wear, but like with a suit in, in the winter time. Fall, absolutely. Winter, no. So some, sometimes I've seen heavier trench coats with, with the lining in it or that probably okay, but not not a light trench coat. What are the deets of the green coat? Okay, the green coat is uh, Ralph Lauren polo. Again, uh, this particular this particular coat is it was eight hundred dollars. I got it for I want to say two fifty on a sale, 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 um, and it's amazing. It's super warm. Um, the sweater is uh, J. Crew again. I got that online. I want to say for twenty, twenty or thirty bucks. Um, so again, another great deal. So the next coat that I want to talk about a show is this quilted coat. So this is a coat that I got online um, from Off Sacks, and I got it for eighty four dollars. And the original price, I want to say, is like 400 or 500 What's great about this coat is, you know, it's quilted, and then it has this, like, inside piece that can zip out, so you can actually wear it without this inside piece, but it, I'll bring it down. And I paired it with my green suit um, from J. Crew, um, as well as a Thomas Mason shirt from J. Crew. Um, that I got on sale, but I love this coat. It is super warm. It looks great dressed up and dressed down, um, depending on the night, right? How warm or cold it is. You can unzip this inside piece and just wear this part. And I think that that is really cool. And the best part about it is it was $84. <laughs> um, but Again, another classic style coat that 
you can wear for years to come as long as you take care of it. Okay, let's see if there's any other questions. All right, do you have the coat I shared earlier on my page with the fur? I love that whole, yes, 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 don't worry. That was, that was, that's supposed to be like the showstopper, that's supposed to be the end. Yes, yes, so I will show, I will show that look and talk about um, that, that particular, that particular look. All right, so next look is one that I think is very like professor, very college guy, or very even corporate guy. Um, I have my D. Ray McKesson uh, quilted vest going on here. So with this look, it's tweed jacket. It's the quilted vest, right? Quilted down vest. And I paired it with a white button down shirt and blue trousers, which are behind here. So this is a classic look that goes very well. Um, it, it, you, you just look classy, you look smart. You look like a smart guy with, with a look like this. The vest I got in Ohio, uh, in the airport one time where it was a super crazy snowstorm and I didn't have anything to do because my flight was delayed. So I went shopping in the airport and airports are not a good place to shop because the stuff is, is really expensive. So this is actually something that I paid full price for, and I will get my money, out, my money's worth out of it. Um, it is from, it's by Brooks Brothers, but many, many brands make this type of um, quilted vest. One brand that I know of that makes this type of vest for a really good price is Uniqlo. Uniqlo, I spoke about Uniqlo before, but Uniqlo has, you know, similar type vests um, for much cheaper than, than, than the Brooks Brothers one. So again, paired with my J. Crew tweed jacket, Brooks Brothers quilted vest, um, the button down is J. Crew, and then I also have some uh, blue J. Crew uh, trousers. Uh, if you haven't noticed by now, clearly uh, I like J. Crew. It fits me well. It fits me very well. So uh, a lot of times I can buy things and not have it uh, altered uh, from J. Crew. So I kind of stick with what works for my body type. All right, let's see. Let's see who else is here. Who else is here? I see Paul. I see Marvin. I see Kevin. I see Carlos. I see Alex. Okay, we're almost almost to 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 the final look. All right, next look again, dressed up look. Could wear to church. You can wear it to the office. Uh, you can wear it, you know, on a, a nice fancy date. Classic overcoat. This is a black overcoat that is designed by me. Um, you can check out my overcoats as well as my coats with the fur on uh, in my Etsy shop. Um, so black classic overcoat, gray suit, and white shirt. The suit is custom. Um, I got it made in Hong Kong. Um, the shirt is J. Crew, and the tie is Club Monaco. So I wanted to give it a little pop of color because of the gray and, and the black. Um, so I paired it with this Club Monaco um, pink with black polka dot um, tie. But this classic uh, top coat uh, should be in every man's closet. This goes great dressed up or dressed down. I've worn it with a sweatshirt. I've worn it with a hoodie. I've worn it with a suit. Um, so it kind of goes for, for, for everything. You buy one and it, and, and it will last, um, if you take care of it, of course. Um, last for years and years and years. Um, so I love a overcoat because, again, right, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, um, and it's such a classic piece. Overcoat will never go out of style. Uh, overcoat has been around for many, many, many years, many years. 
Okay, J. Crew should pick you, <laughs> pick up your line to pay you. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I know. I try to when I first started uh, doing this, I tried to stay away from naming what the clothes are, but a lot of people ask me what the clothes are. So I figure I just tell people what the clothes are right, you know, right now during the live versus getting a lot of messages afterwards asking what, what the clothes are. Um, but yes, I shop at, at J. Crew a lot. Um, J. Crew, again, fits my body type well. Okay. We're down to the last look. And the last look is the look that I posted today. Uh, I got a lot of fire emojis. I got a lot, a lot of comments. It's actually one of my favorite coats um, to wear. It commands uh, attention uh, when, when I wear it. Um, so I'll talk about the last look that I have here today. And it's the look that, I, I, um, that you saw me post today in the pictures. Look at this. Let me bring it over for the IG people. Look at this. So this is Silver Fox. Silver Fox is to me one of, it's not the most expensive fur, but it to me is one of the most luxurious because when that brisk winter wind hits it, I mean, it, it just really flows beautifully. So, I have this coat with the Glen plaid top coat, then the Glen plaid suit. The tie is Fendi. I got it from Century 21. Um, and the shirt is custom. Let me just talk about the coat really quickly. Um, so this coat is a, a one of a kind, firstly, uh, because a couple of people have asked me or said that they want it. Um, I actually do have this in a size 40 short. So if you wear a size 40 short, I can actually make you a replica of this coat. If you wear any other size, I'm sorry, one of a kind. The coat itself, right? So a lot of times people, um, they don't want the full you know, coat with the fur for me. They they just want the fur collar um, and they wanna put it on an existing coat. And in this case, that's what I did. So the coat is J. Crew, and then the fur, I put it on the coat. The fur is actually detachable. So if I wanted to wear the coat without the fur, I would just take the fur off. So you can make it super fancy with the fur, or you can take the fur off and have um, the coat. I actually have images up with the coat without, um, without the fur um, on it. But again, uh, Silver Fox, one of my favorite, um, favorite furs, is just, it's, it's beautiful to me. It just screams luxury and it just screams uh, rich. It just, it, it, and, and you just feel good in it. People definitely turn their heads when you have on Silver Fox. So, as I mentioned, right, a lot of people come to me, they don't wanna purchase the full coat. And my coats are all custom. So that is the benefit of having um, a coat made by me, right? Because it is for you, you specifically, for your body. Um, but a lot of times people find coats at thrift stores and, and things like that. And they say, you know, I, I have this coat um, and I want to put some fur on it. Can you do it? Yes, I can do it. Um, I would just need, you know, for you to send me the coat, obviously, and tell me what type of fur you want on the coat. Um, a lot of times the fur ends up costing more <laughs> than the coat, uh, especially if someone found it at, at a thrift shop. But with that, it just brings the level of how the coat looks up 10 notches. Like the, the fur just makes any coat look look really, really good. Um, and, and that's why I love uh, the coats that I have that do have the detachable fur, because if I don't feel like wearing fur or drawing that much attention, I can just 
take it off and it's attached with with um with buttons okay so ooh. <laughs> all right let's see i want that look all right do you wear a 40 short if you wear a 40 short i can make it happen for you yes does scream attention so we have a couple people hey hey jeff how's it going all right so i went through a a, a lot of looks a, a lot of looks right so i went through let, let's just recap really really quickly right for anybody that joined late right my this arm though is gonna be so strong uh from <laughs> these coats were these looks with one hand all right First look was the Burberry duffel coat with the sweatshirt and blue denim jeans. Second look was the Ralph Lauren polo down coat with the green and blue J. Crew sweater and green distressed denim diesel jeans third look again another cad more casual look the rag and bone motorcycle jacket and this is a really it's the leather is soft but then it's like rough at the same time it's 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 beautiful it's amazing um again it's quilted inside so keeps you warm uh paired with this sandro sweatshirt and rag and bone black jeans. I, I also like rag and bone. Rag and bone jeans uh, are between two and three hundred dollars. But if you get them on sale, um, Nordstrom Rack has rag and bone a lot of times, past seasons, and you can get them for cheaper. Any jeans I buy, I just wear them out and, and like literally wear them out. Um, to the point where they have like a hole in the crotch, and then I know that's when it's time to 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 throw them away. But I don't buy jeans very often. I buy what fits me well, um, and I'll wear them until I pretty much can't wear them anymore. So I have only a few pair. I have a, a denim. I have a, a blue pair. I have a black. I have a gray. Um, I have the green. The green ones. Uh, which are, are more fun. Um, I have another blue pair that are Joe jeans um, that are that are cool. Next look was the Reese London belted jacket with the blue suit and blue Saks Fifth Avenue um, shirt, and the tie is. Paul Smith. Uh, the suit that I have on actually is Paul Smith as well. Look at this lining though. Fancy. Uh, this suit was a, a great find. This is actually a $2,000 suit that I got for $200. Uh, so looking super fancy um, for $200. So $2,000 suit for 200 bucks. Next look, again, the coat, Saks Fifth Avenue. Um, the suit is J. Crew, um, and the shirt is J. Crew. This this is a quilted coat. Um, this piece zips out, um, so you can wear it with or without that piece, depending on how cold it is outside. Then the tweed jacket with the quilted vest. Tweed jacket is J. Crew. The uh, quilted vest is Brooks Brothers. The button down shirt is also J. Crew. And then there's a pair of blue trousers in there somewhere that is also uh, J. Crew. Okay. Classic black top coat paired with this gray suit. The gray suit is custom. The coat is made by me. Um, the shirt is J. Crew, and then the tie is Club Monaco. And then the last look, the one that everybody loves, I got so many fire emojis. 
um, is um, the coat, Glen Plaid. It is J. Crew, but I got Silver Fox affixed to it. Um, the suit is J. Crew. And the shirt, hold on. The shirt is custom and the tie is Fendi uh, from Century 21. Uh, I want to say the Fendi tie was like 30, 30 bucks. Um, so yeah, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight looks, eight, eight different coats that I showed you today that are, you know, for the most part, classic men's style. The wealthy guy is all about classic clothing, classic men's style, things that will never go out of style. Right, buy things that will never go out of style, and you will always be in style. Um, as well as buy things that you know are good quality, right? But for a good price. Uh, buying cheap clothes or not well-made clothes, you end up having to continue to buy clothes all the time. But when you buy quality pieces. They will last you for a long time. And that's what I'm all about because you have to have money to do other things with. All right. Um, so you don't want to be spending all your money on clothes. I know I don't. All right. So it's 830. Let me see if there's any questions. If not, then I will end the live. Okay, okay. Someone is telling someone what was what they're doing. Um it's an opposition looks like a request. Information on the coat. The 40 short with the fur. If possible, a long version and the price of no long version. It's a it's the coat is uh so I actually so someone saw me in the coat. And they they said, hey, I want one just like it. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I can get you one just like it because the 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 cold piece of it is J. Crew, and they actually don't make that that they didn't make the coat anymore. Um, but I went on, I want to say Poshmark or one of those sites, and I actually found someone that was selling a 40 short. Um, and, and the short is short on the arm, not short in the length, um, right? So suit size in, I wear a 36 regular, right? So there's 36 long, 36 regular, and 36 short. So the short represents how long the arms are um, on, on, on a coat um, or on a suit. That <laughs> Let's see the shoe game to accent the Stella, the Stella suits. Yes. So I actually want to do, uh, on the holiday style, I show shoes that went with each look. I actually want to do a, a shoe-specific live. Uh, but what I realized is that a lot of the shoes that I have they're the same style because I tend to buy things, uh, the same things, uh, different, different brands, but I tend to buy the same, the same things, things that I know that work for my body. Um, so with my shoes, I have a lot of cap toe shoes and I was like, oh man, how am I going to talk about different shoes styles? And I have so many of the same shoe style but just different colors but i may just let me know if you you want me to do it because i do have other shoes besides that so i could talk about some more casual uh type of shoes um as well as those shoe styles uh like a double monk strap i could talk about i could talk about like the uh rubber ducky boots that i love for winter and when it's and it's raining so i could talk about a couple different styles but for the most part my dress shoes are one style, which is which is cap toe. Okay, so I want to thank everyone for joining today. Um, 
I hope that the people on the Instagram were able to see the looks. Uh, if my cousin joined or if she watches it, I'm sure she'll let me know uh, if they were able to, to, to see it. Uh, but I have a lot of exciting things coming up uh, to share with everyone that I can't talk about yet. I know that's like the setup when you like, oh, I have something to tell you, but I can't tell you right now. Um, but I have some re some really good things have been happening um, for me, and I'm super excited to share uh, those things like with you and with the people who have been like riding with me and like supporting me. Um, so tell a friend about the wealthy guy. Um, you know, share my post. Uh, tell people about the coats. Uh, ask me questions. All right, I, I enjoy getting uh, questions, you know, about style. The style that I share is, is, is mine, all right? Because uh, sometimes people message me and they're like, oh, well, you didn't talk about this type of, you know, shoe or you didn't talk about that. And I'm like, yeah, because I don't, I don't wear that. The things that I share are based off of style that I, I like or that I think is, is, is classic men's style, if that makes sense. So again, thank you. I appreciate everyone that joined today and I look forward to seeing you again next week.